Hi, John Lay here from Town to Learning with another hot take review. Today's hot take is on the Learning Network, uh, learning.net. The Learning Network is a organization that was formed a few years ago by merging and acquiring a series of different high quality providers on both the platform and the content perspective. Where it's sorted out in 2024 is the Learning Network is an XR company. Uh, that also has uh, learning technology platforms that you can use. What do I mean by that? Um, what is XR? Well, XR is extended reality. It's an umbrella term that essentially covers virtual reality, augmented reality, as well as hybrid uh, state realities, and develops content uh, inside of there, inside of those technologies, as well as more traditional uh, e-learning type technologies. The Learning Network, or some of the the original companies uh, that were a part of that actually have their roots going back all the way 30 years, same as mine, the authorware and flash uh, type authoring. And so they come at uh, XR and the content creation capabilities from an instructional design and instructional perspective and using data and sound science and instructional technologies. That's different than a lot of XR and VR companies that come at it from a, a gaming standpoint. So they have really whiz bang technology, but they're not thinking uh, about the best instructional strategies, and they're not necessarily aware of what learning management systems are and their limitations. And so there's a disconnect between this high-end XR, VR type content and LMSs out in the industry. The learning Network solves that problem with their Performance XR product. And what that is, is they've modified one of their platforms to be able to, to receive and be a receptacle for all of the data that comes from from XR and VR and AR applications. And so if you just think of you know wearing the glasses and touching this and turning this knob or doing this, these are all activities that essentially don't have a space in an LMS to be able to track. And so what the Learning Network did is create their database in such a way that it could receive all of this data. They can use machine learning and AI to crank this data, to look for trends, to find uh, you know trends inside this data and, and analyze that and combine that with business data and where they're moving is to be able to take that data then and use that to create adaptive learning scenarios so each one of these ar and vr then becomes more and more personalized uh, based on the actual individual all that is really cool stuff another thing that i like is everything that they do they tie to roi and anybody that follows talented to learning you know that we love that concept and and what i mean is Every one of their projects, they've yeah, watch that executive briefing. You'll see what I mean. They look at it. They define what the problem is, how big that problem is, what it's cost in that organization when that problem isn't solved, and then they solve it. And then they measure the impact of their solution on how they basically make money or save money or improve business processes uh, in their clients through the use of this technology. And the reason I love that one is I love measuring in general uh, the effectiveness of things, but everybody thinks XR and AR is just so expensive and it's prohibitive and you only need it for your you know most important type contents. But as, as long as you can measure the problem and measure the solution, then the little bit of cost uh, doesn't matter at the end of the day. It's more the impact of the solution. And that's what we saw today on the, the impact of, you know, sometimes in the millions and tens of millions of dollars that an organization can save by the strategic use of learning. So Learning Network's real smart in terms of ROI, in terms of measuring and helping their clients measure. They're real good at creating content in an instructional way from the highest quality content that's available from virtual reality down to regular uh, type self-paced learning content. And most importantly, they can sit on top of any LMS. So if you are, especially in industries that uh, are really uh, VR heavy would be manufacturing, distribution, transportation, military, energy, you know, anything that's big and dangerous. You know, if you've got a big, you know, multi-million dollar uh, production line, you can't build a training simulation of that uh, or another multi-million dollar line just for training. And you don't want to pull that line down to train people because, you know, you have to have that that line up in production at all times. And so, any of those industries are perfectly ripe for recreating that environment in a safe environment, allow you to practice what would seem like the real equipment without taking it down off the floor and be able to make an impact. Uh, that's VR. That's why you want it. And uh, Learning Network's good at it. If you're a vendor that operates in any of those industries, I'd reach out to these guys to partner. If you already have an LMS and you're in any of these industries, 
and you want to see some uh, how some of their content could impact the ROI in your organization, I'd reach out to them directly. There you have it, folks. Another hot take review. Hope to see you on the next.